Let's go ahead and set up and activate all our radios. All right. Okay again. Yeah. All right. Let's set up our number one radio one for our communication one frequencies. Like to the area to right. the southeast. Air Carol One, Winston Tower, proceed on Corey, right. wind two four zero no. nine or October three zero zero. Gotta set your radio first. One twenty eight point two five. Ground frequency. Now transfer it. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and get our weather. Let's switch to calm to your right. Yeah. Temperature 142.7. Altimeter 3013. Visual approach Tower. runway 33 in use. Test okay. Landing and departing runway 33 in runway 22. Notice Dairman taxiway out for lights out of service between Charlie and the approach end of runway 33. Crane operating one fourth of a mile south of the approach end of runway four. All aircraft read back all hold short instructions and assigned altitudes. Advise on initial contact, you have Oscar. Winston Airport information, Oscar, 1554 Zulu. Wind, variable at four, visibility one zero, sky clear. Temperature 14 dew point seven. Altimeter 3013. Visual approach runway 33 in use. Landing and departing runway 33 in runway 22. Notice Airman taxiway out for lights out of service between Charlie and the approach end of runway 33. Crane operating one fourth of a mile south of the approach end of runway 4. All aircraft read back all hold short instructions and assigned altitudes. Advise on initial contact. You have Oscar. Winston Airport information Oscar, 1554 Zulu. Wind, variable at 4, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 14 dew point 7. All right, whenever you've got it. 3013. Visual approach runway 33 in use. Okay. So, let's set everything up. Three zero one three. That's about useless at zero six zero. Frickin' compass is useless. Okay. So, got everything? Yep. All right. So, we're gonna make a call to the ground controller, letting him know once he responds to us what information we have and that we'd like to taxi for a northwest departure. All right. I yep. want you to start paying attention to radio comm because you're going to have to do it. All right. All right. So, Western Ground, Cessna 5185 Yankee. 5185 Yankee, Winston. 5185 Yankee at the flight school with Oscar. Request taxi for a VFR departure to the northwest. 5185 Yankee, runway 22 taxi via Foxtrot, cross runway 15. 22 via Foxtrot, cross 15, 5185 Yankee. All right. All right. Clear both ways. Yep. Pedal. All 
There you go. Remember to lead your turn. She can't wait till you're there. You go right by it. We're going left. First one. Yep. And three three end is clear. Keep going. Keep going. He told All us right. we could cross. But that's line right up underneath you. There you go. I go left, up the line, spin all the way up to the line. Now come back to the right, bump the power up just a touch, light right brake pressure. Straighten the nose out. Eighteen hundred. Yeah, follow your checklist. You're up here. Brakes you got. Seat backs were all up. Belts on. Cabin doors are closed and locked. Hit flight control check. Quantity. Fuel quantity, flight instruments. Yep. All right. Mixture to rich. I'll go to 1800. One click. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Oops. Now the other one. Two clip. Okay, yep. that one dropped a little bit more, didn't it? Yeah. Go back to both. So the way we can take care of that or see if we can clean it as we start reducing mixture, and we're looking for about a two to 300 RPM drop. So we pull it out some. You can see it's starting to drop now. Yeah. We want to keep going. So on four zero nine, we're and we want to let that go for about a minute. What this does is it reduces so the amount of fuel. Runway, uh, two, two, four to three mile final runway two, two. Reduces the amount of fuel going to the engine, so the engine's actually running a little hotter. Yeah. 
And this burns off any extra fuel, oils, anything like that off the magnetos. Oh, wow. Mid-60s already. <laughs> Usually you could do this up to about three times, Ben. Yeah. If you don't see a significant difference, it's time to take it back in because this will not take care of a fouled plug or something. Yeah. So we're up to about a minute. So now push the mixture all the way back in. Make sure you're still at 18. Yeah. Now check the mags again. One click. Okay. Both? Two clicks? Well, they're much closer. Yeah. Okay, back to both. All right. And continue your checks. Hooks engage. Meditating panel. Up here, nothing's lit. Throttle to idle. All the way to idle. See where it's going to idle at. Uh, about 750 or so. Hold your brakes. There you go. Pulse light. Probe lights and pulse light we don't have. Yep. Okay. Transponder. It is okay. indicating altitude. I have GPS switch. It's fine. Yep. Autopilot off. It is. And the wing flaps Snip. are at zero. Okay, let's roll Put up to the, to the edge of the runway. So at this point, we switch over to the tower frequency. Right. So yeah, don't rush your checklist. It's there for a reason. Why do we have a checklist? Checklist? To make sure we don't forget something. Most incidents in an airplane happen because we forgot something. Okay? That's why you have a checklist for all phases of flight. All right, so now we make sure everything's the way we want it. Fuel's good. Yep. Trim's good. Yep. Flaps are good. Yep. Mixture's set. Yep. We are in altitude. Go ahead and turn your landing light on. And we're ready to give them a call and tell them that we're ready to roll. Yep. Okay. Watson Tower, Cessna 5185 Yankee, holding short 22, ready for takeoff. Seven one four zero nine, hold short runway 22. Uh, 7409 is on a three mile final for runway 22. Sorry about that. Wrong one. 5185 five, Yankee, hold shoulder 22. 85 Yankee, holding short 22. 7409, clear for touch and go, runway 22. After you touch and go in left close traffic, caution crane operating the left side departure in. All right, clear for touch and go, runway 22, left close traffic after that. 7140 So even though the winds are variable at four, what would we do? because they're pretty much coming down the runway. Remember, any time it's at the wingtips or forward, you always turn towards it. Yeah. So even though they're light, not really strong, you still want to turn towards it so there's no chance of them picking that wing up. The bird. Yep. And we could have got out of here easy. Yeah.
All right, guys. Yankee, runway 22, clear for takeoff, proceed on course. 22, clear for takeoff, on course, 5185, Yankee. All right, let's line her up. Seven one four zero nine on runway 22, clear for touch and go. Clear for touch and go, runway 22, 7140 So runway heading. Left knob. Left knob. Two two. Now go back. There you go. All right, let's go. More pull. There you go. Let's turn right to about a 315 heading. All right. Well, let's use 300 to start with. All right. Level off at 2,500. All right. Push it down. Take the climb out. Push it down. Reduce power. All right. Keep that climb out of it. All right. Trim it. Trim it. Fly your airplane, Ben. Oh, a little bumpy. Let's see if it's a little better at 2,000. Go ahead and reduce power just a bit. Don't push it. Don't push down. All right. Let's see if it's a little smoother at 2,000. Okay. Where are you going? Turn left. There you go. Okay, now start smoothly bringing Secret power back. Start bringing power back. Quit turning right. Quit staring at the instruments, five, Ben. Five Yankee frequency change proof. A five Yankee frequency change proof. Talking a little bit. Someone four. There you go. A little bit better. 
Got us to get, stay off that instrument panel. That's just there to give you information. Got to work on that because you have a tendency because of your simulator to stare right here. Okay. Yeah. Got to look out the window. What's going on with the airplane? Good Lord. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Yep. Just turn left and head over towards those fields. All right. Not with your feet. Keep, keep you coordinated. Which field is this one over here or right there? Nope, a big, big group out in front of us. All right. So here we note what heading we're on, but we're primarily making sure our path goes straight there. Yeah. Your power up just a smidgen more. Don't push down on it. Relax your hand, then. Look at what the airplane does. See how much you were pushing on it? Yeah. Don't push on it. Now put your power back where you were. There you go. Know. About 22, 22, 50. Bump it up just a little, you're going down again. Too much. Smaller changes. Get off of being out here. Right here. Okay? Yeah. Be in control of the airplane, but don't over control at the same time. All right. Back to 2,000 feet, 2,100, there you go, just a small change, don't need a massive change. Now if you put it in, take it right back out, or are you going to get to where you want to be? No. Nope. Yeah, you reduced it back down to where it started? Yeah. There you go. Give me a right-hand turn. So there. All right. Now reduce power a little, you're back where you want to be. Twisting ain't going to do nothing. Reduce it down a bit more. There you go. Yeah, twisting a throttle ain't gonna do nothing. 
The only one that works on is your mixture. Give me a left hand, 360 degree turn. All right. Coordinate yourself. Push on it. A little bit to the left. There you go. Three hundred and sixty all the way back around. All right, where are we starting from? Okay, now do it to the right. All right. Maintain 2,100 feet. Good. Okay, give me a left turn of 180 degrees. Okay. Right. 
coordinate, Ben. You're wanting to turn with your feet. Your feet aren't going to turn you. They're just going to uncoordinate you. So what's that set up? A slip or a skid? Give it too much rudder towards the turn and you skid around the turn. I'm good. Okay, give me a right hand 180 degree turn. All right. Way down. All right. All right. Turn left, 180 degrees. All right. Good. All right. Let's climb up to 2,500 feet. All right. Full power? No. Always climb at full power. The only time you climb at partial power is if you're just making a small correction. All right. Typically anything more than 100 or so feet, you want to go at full power. A left hand descending turn back to 2100 feet, 180 degrees. All right, to do some power? Yeah. All right. And then start the turn. Easy does it. All right. 2100 feet? Yeah. Coordinated. Put your power back. 
put it back where you started from, what's going to happen? Come back up. You're going to keep going down. If you reduce power for a descent, you're going to have to put it back where it started from. Okay? Yeah. Give me a right-hand climbing turn, 180 degrees, back to 2,500 feet. All right. So. Don't need a big pull. On a climbing turn, you're going to hit your altitude before you hit your heading. Especially with this stuff. <laughs> To 15 or 150. Yep, back to 180. So now start reducing power. Continue your turn. All right. There you go. Bring the power back down. Always come back to where you started from. Okay. Turn left to a heading of zero seven five. All right. Okay, listen to your engine. You're pulling the power down. Simply by pulling the nose up, put your power back. If you don't reset your power to where you started from, can you expect it to do what you want it to do? No. Nope. Absolutely not. I'll say, what altitude are we supposed to be at? 2,500. Okay. Good. Fix it. That small changes. You're only changing altitude by 80 feet. You don't need all that. Small changes, small corrections make small changes. Big corrections make bigger changes. Put it back on 22.
sky condition clear. Temperature 16, dew point 6, out. Temperature 3009 Visual oh, approach runway 33 in use. Landing in departing runway 33 and runway 22. Use caution, crane operating departure in runway 22, one quarter mile south of the departure end. All aircraft read back, all hold short. Instructions and assign altitude to vital initial contact. You have a disinformation, papa. Winston Salem Airport, ADS information, Papa. Time 1654 METAR. Wind 220 at Niner, gust 15, visibility 10, sky condition clear. Temperature 16, dew point 6 out, temperature 300 Niner. Visual approach runway 33 in use, landing in departing runway 33 and runway 22. Use caution, crane operating departure in runway 22, one quarter mile south of the departure end. All aircraft read back off. As we get over these warehouses, give me a right turn to a heading of 180. All right. This is 1409. Uh, turn right, whatever, we'll join Foxtrot. You headed to the ramp or uh, going back out for another? Uh, we'll turn right on Juliet and we're going to go to the flight school. So this is 1409. Tax Ramp via Juliet. Ramp via Juliet, 1409. Winston Towers, Cessna 5185 Yankees. 5185 Yankee, Winston Tower. 5185 Yankee, eight and a half miles northeast, 2500 with Papa inbound for landing. 5185 Yankee, uh, Ident, proceed straight in runway 22. Ident, straight in 2285 Yankee. All right. Good. There's where we're going. There's about where we are right now. Can we turn to it? Yep. One eight zero. Not to the marker yet. All right. Okay, see the airfield? Yeah. All right, we're going to line up for runway 22. All right. Couple of birds down here, low left, low to the right. Yep. I see. Hold your heading. Don't start snaking into the runway yet. Line up on the runway when you get there. All right.
Now you can start lining up on the runway. All right. Now remember, you're using the entire runway at this position because you're not close enough to get specific yet. Yeah. All right, go ahead and start a descent down to 2,000 feet. All right. Stay centered on that runway. Don't let it wobble. All right. That's not that much power out. You only need to leave, lose 300 feet. Remember what I said, make your adjustments based on what you're doing. Don't push down. It will go down all by itself. All right. Level off at 2,000? Yeah. We're going right. to level off at pattern power. All right. Oh, well, set 2,000 RPM. All right. What's the tower, Air Care 1? Air Care 1, what's the tower? Air Care 1, so we're with you. We're about uh, 12 to the southeast. All right. We're at the We're level. Air Care 1, I did. Uh, disregard, I've got you. Senior man to Baptist, uh, wind uh, 230 at 9 or gust 15, altimeter 3006. 3006, AK1. AK1, advised land insured. Certified 185 Yankee, runway 22 clear to land. 22 clear to land, A5 Yankee. Okay, why are we in a bank? Why is your power dropping? We're not there yet. Power is altitude now, not pitch. Pitching up is just going to slow you down. There you go. See how much it speeded back up when you relaxed that pull? Yeah. Okay, loose hands, loose feet. Stay centered on that runway. All right. You're getting close enough now, you can get a little more focused. Okay, reduce power to 17. All right. Collapse to 10. That's it. Let it stabilize, but be right. in control of it. Yep. Little to the right. Five hundred. Right. Bump your power up just a bit. Right. Little to the right. Keep going to the left. You don't need to go left. The wind will push you left. Don't pull. Don't right. push. Altitude is power. Or power is altitude, not pitch. All right. Relax them hands. You're going to have to be quick. Okay, power to 15. Collapse 20. All right. That's 20. Little to the right. All right. Collapse 30. Power to idle. Power to idle. Let it slow down. All right. Let it float. All right. Boost quick hands. Level. All right. Don't pull up. There you go. All right. Reach over. Take the flaps out. All right. Keep flaring. As you add a little bit of right aileron. Just 85 Yankee, if able, right at Juliet, tax ramp. Right on Juliet to the ramp, 85 Yankee. See how much fun even winds down the runway gusty can be? Yeah. Got to be quick and moving in a landing. The only time you can just kind of sit there is if you have no wind at all. Go ahead and stop. Do your after landing checks. So yeah, on a landing bin, you're going to have to be ready to adjust and correct. But it's knowing what adjustment and correction you want to make. Press up, transponder, stand by. Okay. As required. Go ahead and turn your landing light off. All right. Okay. 
Clean your mixture an inch. There you go. And uh, tower, runway shed 520 is with you, inbound visual 33. Relax 520, Winston Tower, runway 33, clear to land. The wind is 25010, gust 15. Back on that. Roger, clear yeah, to land, Relax shed 520. Oh, it's basics. Once you got into it, it was pretty good. Got to remember, that just gives you information. All right, let's go over to the right. Taxi down the line. Easy does it. Minimal braking. All right. We're going to go past the spot. Right. Set your power at 1,000. 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. There you go. Full left pedal. All right. Light touch on the left brake. All right. Okay, continue turning. Light touch. There you go, looking good. Now, relax the left, stop with the right. All right. Okay. See so, yeah, how you didn't have to do a whole lot there? Yeah. It's all about the control of it. All right, let's do a quick mag check. Go on to the left. Yeah. Right. We just want to make sure we see and hear it drop. Back yep. to both. All right. And check the other one. Yep. And back to both. Right. Now you go through your securing checklist. Remember what I said the purpose of that is? To ensure that the magnetos are grounding still. Yeah. That way somebody turns a switch on and moves the prop, it ain't going to start on them. Yeah. All right. Tower, Air Care 1, we're landing. Sure off. Okay, avionics on. Air Care 1, thank you.